वेलकम टू एस टी एग्जाम फोरम सो स्टूडेंट इन टारगेट डी आर डी ओ सेप्टेम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सीरीज वी हैव कम अप विद न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी ग्रेविटेशन इन जनरल साइंस स्टूडेंट दिस चैप्टर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम एनी टेक्निकल एग्जाम बिकॉज फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर यू कैन फाइंड एट लीस्ट वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर ओके so before proceeding uh, you should know the two things uh, what is force and what are the different type of forces okay so as you know that force is either pull or push an on an object okay and uh, there are two type of forces namely contact forces and non contact forces okay these non contact force are also called field force why because when they come into a field then only uh, object experience that force okay so i will not go through all these forces we are interested only on gravitational force so student uh, gravitation force is a non contact force or a field force and it is always attractive okay it is always attractive so now let us understand what are the important concept in the gravitation chapter okay student in gravitation you should know these five things at least okay what are these first one is the real life phenomena what does this i mean uh, like the force that bind us to the earth is because of gravitational force okay and uh, as you know that the motion of moon around the earth or the motion of planet around the sun is also because of the gravitational pull okay moreover the tides due to the moon and sun is also because of the gravitational pull student these are the real life phenomena that at least you should know it happens it the reason because of all these phenomena is nothing but gravitational force okay coming to the next is universal law of gravitation you should know the universal law of gravitation it was given by sir isaac newton when he was sitting under a tree and a, a, an apple fell on him so he pondered why everything goes downward so he propounded this uh, law of universal gravitation what is the formula of that uh, law that you should know what is the formula f is equal to g m into m divided by d square okay what does this universal law of gravitation say it is directly proportional to the product of the masses and inversely proportional to the distance between them of the square okay and there is important quantity in this formula is universal constant g okay you should know this is a constant so it must have a value what is its value 6.673 into 10 raised to power of minus 11 and what is its unit you can derive it from formula i will not tell you how to derive it it is very simple unit is newton meter square per kg square okay and what is the unit of uh, gravitation force yes yes newton is the unit of gravitational force and what is the unit of universal gravitation constant it is newton meter square per kg square and one of the most important question in this is who has found this universal gravity constant gravitational constant who has found it his name was henry cavendish okay he has done a sensitive experiment through which he was able to calculate the value of gravitational constant okay so just remember this name henry cavendish okay he founded the value of universal gravitation constant g okay coming to the very next important topic is gravity there is a difference between gravity and gravitational force what is gravity it is a force of gravitation due to the earth okay it is not just general force it is due to the earth what force of gravitation an object is experiencing it is called gravity 
and the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of earth is given as 9.8 meter per second square okay acceleration due to gravity is how much 9.8 meter per second square you can easily derive this formula uh, g is equal to g m by r square i will not go through how this formula came it came from the previous formula that we have seen okay the very important thing is you should know about the variation okay how it is varying okay this value of g depends upon the height height means how much above from the surface of earth the object is it varies inversely so as you go higher the gravity will be reduced okay the important thing is at equator and the pole at pole it is maximum and at equator the gravity is minimum okay there are reason i will not explain you detail in this chapter okay and uh, one most important thing is this gravitational force is independent of shape and size student okay let me ask you a question if you throw a ball and throw a, a very heavy object say a, a 10 kg thing which will fall first on the ground if you fall from the very big height say 100 meters uh, most of you will tell that uh, the higher weight object will come first or it will touch on the ground that is wrong both the object independent of their masses will reach the surface of earth at the same time this experiment was also conducted by galileo on the leaning tower of pisa where he told that irrespective of mass of an object gravity is experienced by both the object will be the same so they will reach at the ground on the same time okay understood okay coming to the next thing that you should know about gravitational force is the mass what is mass mass is a measure of inertia okay it is a constant quantity what does i mean if you go on moon earth mars wherever mass will always be the constant okay and it si unit is kg okay kilogram coming to the weight as uh, mass is constant it is a variable quantity why it is a variable because it depends upon the force with which it is attracted toward the earth okay and its unit is newton not kg weight unit is newton why it is newton because it is the force experienced by the object due to the earth so if there is a force of attraction so it will always be in newton and uh, one thing you should know weight on the moon is always equal to 1/6 of the weight on earth suppose if you have weight of 36 kg on moon it will be 6 kg so weight become 1 by 6 of the weight on the earth okay and uh, there are certain experience in the weight when one is in the lift so what are that so if lift is going with acceleration upward then apparent weight will be the greater one and true weight will be the lesser one so if you are going upward you are experiencing heavy weight okay and if you are going downward your true weight will be greater than the apparent weight and if lift cord is broken what will happen your apparent weight will become zero it is nothing but your free fall right and if your lift is moving uh, with uniform speed or it is stationary then your apparent weight and true weight will be same okay so these are some observation in the weight in the lift that you should know so this is the total thing that we have learned in this chapter okay so i hope you understood what we have uh, told you and in the next video we will come with mcqs on gravitation student uh, i request you to put a hit like button and share it with your friend we will come with more video on this target drdo september 2022 thank you Have a nice day.